Hi, and welcome back to Purple Color Life. In today's video, we are talking about oil undercoating on an aluminum truck. Is it necessary? What components should you do? Should you not do it at all? Let's talk about that. Chad and Olive here, we are on our way to the vet. She's gonna get her monthly blood work check done to see how her medicines are doing. They're making her feel a little bit better, so we keep doing this blood work check every month to see you know, how the medicine is helping her out and how she's reacting to different dosage levels. So that's where we're headed now in the truck. The leaves are just starting to change here because it is fall and that makes people think about winter. And one of the things I think about in the fall is getting my truck ready for winter. And one of the things we do with all of our vehicles is oil undercoating. Now that changed a little bit last year when we got this new F350 new to us. Now, like I said, I did a lot of research and I am by no means an expert on oil undercoating. I've never undercoated my own vehicle. I've always taken it to professionals. I did a video a while back about why I personally don't like fluid film as an undercoating. I'll put a link to that video up above. But it was really a debate in my mind because oil undercoating does protect the steel of your vehicle, but it's also really messy. So the Ford Ranger has been oil undercoated every year that I've had it, and it was oil undercoated even before I had it. You can see I just got a bath, but you can see here in the corner what happens is the oil kind of seeps through where these pieces overlap. This is actually one of the places that the oil is sprayed into the truck. Um, how the mechanic does it is he punches these holes or drills these holes out like there's one here there's one here puts a wand in there and sprays that material into the body and then that as you can see all these Pennsylvania winters later has still kept that rocker panel from rusting same thing with the door you can see there's some oil underneath the door there you can see where it kind of drips out there but there is no rust. There's another one of those knockouts where the wand goes in to spray the oil. So you can see a nice coating of oil on the frame, even on this support rod. It's getting dark in there, but you can see you know, oil all over the parts of the body here, on the inside of the panels. And that keeps that salt and brine from making contact with the steel portions of our truck and starting that rust process. So our 2020 F350, which we've done lots of other videos about, and I will put a uh, playlist down in the description of this video so you can see all those videos we've talked about this truck in the past. But one thing we haven't talked about is oil undercoating an aluminum truck. And that was research that I did last year to see is it necessary to oil undercoat an aluminum truck? Is it a bad idea? And here's kind of my thoughts after doing that research. Obviously you should do your own research so that you're aware of what's happening with your vehicle. But I'll tell you what I did last fall to get this truck ready for winter. So like I said, an aluminum truck should never rust, but we all know that aluminum does corrode. So my question to the guy that does the oil undercoating is, on these trucks, have you been shooting the oil down into the door frames and the rocker panels and the tailgate? And he said, yes, absolutely. Even on these aluminum trucks, it's a good idea. It just keeps the moisture out, keeps the salt from corroding those body parts. But last year, when I had this done, we'll look underneath here. So you can see there's a coating of that oil on there's on the spring and on the shock on the frame and that's helping protect that frame now if i open up the door you'll notice it's not perfectly clean but there's also not any oil coming out of there, coming out of there and there, because last year I opted not to do anything other than the frame and the steel suspension components of the undercarriage of this truck. So 
So everything underneath here that is steel did get oil undercoated. But the body panels, the doors, the tailgate did not. So on my old truck, after all those years, there was always oil down here on the bottom. You'd wash it off with your wash mitt when you're washing the car. It would make a mess. It would constantly drip onto the bumper. So you can see no oil down in here, no oil dripping from the bottom of the tailgate. And the reason I chose not to have the body done, and I'm looking for your comments down below on if you think I'm right or wrong on this. Constructive criticism is welcome. My thought was, the places that I see aluminum start to corrode are the places that have a stone chip or something happened to that paint sealed coating over top of the aluminum. And what I didn't want to happen was to have the garage drill holes in the door or the tailgate and have that be a point where this paint is no longer sealed over that aluminum, it creates an opportunity for moisture to get in there and it actually starts corroding from that point out. Now maybe the oil spray would keep that from happening and that's where I'm looking for your comments. I definitely don't want this aluminum body to corrode as you've seen on some other vehicles. We did a video about the aluminum hatch on our Ford Expedition getting all corroded and only one garage with a good friend of mine that would make an attempt to paint it and he did a great job got it all repaired so this is kind of what I'm looking for last year I just had them spray the frame and anything steel underneath the chassis of the truck this year I haven't made my appointment yet but I'm wondering what you guys think about spraying the aluminum body panels is it necessary is it just a waste is it a good idea does it help protect them does it keep the moisture out or do you think there's some valid point to what I was saying about not disturbing the seal of the paint over top of the aluminum? Now you can see here, and some of you have commented on previous videos, the hood does have some type of primer coating on it, but it's not actually painted. And that's another thing that if we got it undercoated the entire body, he would put his wand up in there and spray that section of the hood. On our other truck, that always caused constant dripping of oil across the top of the headlights. I was always scrubbing this off. It would run down the front of the headlight. I'd have to scrub that off. So yeah, definitely just looking for you guys' opinions here. What you think on oil undercoating an aluminum truck. Gave you my opinion from last year and why I didn't do it last year. But some of you who have had aluminum trucks for longer might have a different opinion and I'd appreciate if you leave those comments down below. Olive is back from the vet and we got some really good news on her. She gets to be off of her medicines for a little while. She is in remission. So we will go back for more blood work uh, in the future and we'll keep watching to see if her demeanor changes. And hopefully she just keeps continuing to be doing better like she is now. So I know there's always been that aluminum truck debate between GMC and Ford and you know there was that commercial that GMC or Chevy put out of a toolbox being thrown in the bed of a Ford truck and it made a puncture right through that aluminum. Now I have not had any trouble with the aluminum body or bed in my truck um, but I am curious about that aluminum body and if it should be protected with oil or if it's better not to spray that stuff on it. Looking forward to reading all those comments and those of you with more expertise, I know those F-150s have been aluminum bodies for a lot longer than the F-250 and F-350 Super Duties. So maybe there's some of you out there who had an F-150. And I will say that around here in Northwest Pennsylvania where you see a lot of rust on cars that has to get repaired each year because our PA state inspection doesn't allow for holes of rust through body panels. What you do see is that 
at least in the trucks that I've seen, those aluminum trucks don't have obviously any rust. And the ones that I've seen, there's very little corrosion. It's not like the old aluminum body panels of the Ford Explorer, the Ford Expedition, where those panels and some, I think I remember the hoods on some cars were aluminum. They would really start to corrode. The paint would actually flake off. It'd be white flaky stuff underneath the paint where that was degrading the aluminum underneath. Something got in between there, was working between the paint and the metal. In the newer trucks of the F-150s, I have not seen that. And in the newer trucks of the F-250s and 350s, I have not seen that. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys say your experiences are when it comes to these aluminum bodies. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining, we'd appreciate if you give us a thumbs up. Leave those comments down below. If you're not already a subscriber, consider clicking that subscribe button and the little bell beside it so you get notified when we put out new videos. On Purple Color Life, our channel is all about the mix of our white collar day jobs and our blue collar rural living. So lots of information. So lots of activities around being outside, obviously the truck, chainsaws, tractors, firewood, just rural life here in Northwest Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time.